Hi and welcome into Introduction to Shadow Analysis 2 for SketchUp. Shadow Analysis 2 allows you to calculate solar irradiation on a survey. First thing we have to do is to select surface to be analyzed. To do it, you have to select a surface, then click a right mouse button and from the menu select Shadow Analysis and then use Analysis Material. Now I will apply this material to all windows I want to analyze. If you are happy with your selection, you can go to Extensions and open Shadow Analysis 2. A Shadow Analysis menu will open. In Presets, you will find settings dedicated to building regulations in many countries. Analysis period, you can define the day on which analysis will be made and time start and end of the analysis. In analysis precision, you can adjust precision of your analysis. The number of the slider indicates the distance between points at which analysis will be made. The distance is in meters. Smaller distance will make more precise analysis, but you would have to wait more for the results. In legend settings, you can adjust how end picture will look like. Analysis queue allows you to make multiple analysis at the same time. For example, I can make analysis with default settings, then add an analysis for Polish building regulations as well as German, and they all will be performed at the same time. Now we can click Calculate. After calculating the result, a new 3D window will pop up, presenting the results of the analysis. You can change between presets you select for the queue using the drop-down menu. You can also save this view as 2D image. You can save Shadow Analysis file to open this 3D presentation again. And you can manipulate the view in a similar way as in the SketchUp. This will allow you to palm view, rotate, zoom in and out, select objects, reset view, show the whole model, make horizontal section, change view to the top, north, south, west and east view. Now when we made our first analysis, I can tell you about some details which will make your work more efficient. First of all, the very important thing is to set up a location in SketchUp. To do it, you have to go to Model Info and set your location. You always have to orient your model so the north direction is parallel to the green axis. The second thing is, when you unnecessarily select a surface to be analyzed, you can always undo it by applying any other material to this surface. This surface will not be analyzed. The third and the most interesting feature is ability of shadow analysis to save different options of the, of the same file. So for example, let me try to optimize this building for Polish building regulations. I will start by making analysis of this model as it is. Now I will add a tower on the north end of this building, of the same height as the adjacent building, and then do another analysis. Now you can open both 3D windows side by side and compare the results. You can zoom in and zoom out in both windows to analyze all the details. You can also save images of, on both 3D windows. I think that's enough to get you started with shadow analysis. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate 
to ask in comments or contact me by email. Thank you for watching. Bye.